There's a lot of new updates regarding the AEW world title, so we'll see what the latest is there. We'll also check out Sasha and Bailey's reunion, as well as a big potential match for Brock Lesnar. Let's start things off with everything AEW related because there's a lot to get into there. AEW had their big ending to their pay-per-view event, as CM Punk was able to regain the AEW world title in Chicago. Then moments later, MJF returns in the closing moments of the show to tease a match against CM Punk. So everything was going well up until that point, and the big potential matchup was what all the fans were talking about. But when CM Punk's media scrum took place, the attention and buzz was ripped away from MJF's return and went to a much darker place. Punk went on a rant and spent several minutes taking shots at the Elite, the EVPs, and other members of the AEW roster. He complained that he was old, tired, and how he has to work with children in AEW. Punk's comments during this scrum would eventually lead to Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks looking for him backstage after everything that wrapped up. Now, there's many different sides and versions to this story, but the overall story appears to be that CM Punk, The Elite, and a few others were all involved in this massive backstage fight. Reports say that hair was pulled, chairs were thrown in people's faces, and it was just an all-out brawl where a lot of people got hurt. The biggest topic before Dynamite was how in the world would AEW handle this situation. CM Punk had just become champion Sunday night. Same thing for the Elite with the trio's title as well. But the decision was made to strip the titles away from all of the champions involved with the fight. The Elite and Punk are gone for now, but no one knows when or if any of them will return to the company after this fight. CM Punk was reportedly seriously injured again during the brawl and will need 6 to 8 months to recover from the injuries that were suffered. Some reports and rumors were floating around saying that Punk allegedly suffered a torn pec. Same injury Cody Rhodes suffered a few months back, but that was never fully confirmed. So just based off the injuries alone, Punk could be gone for 8 months. Now the biggest question here is about CM Punk's AEW status after those 8 months of injury recovery. Will CM Punk be allowed back in AEW? Will he even be interested in coming back to AEW at that point? That's what fans are wondering about. Some fans speculate that CM Punk may be done in AEW. That was the final straw. There's no way they'll bring him back after that. But then again, until AEW releases an official statement that he was either terminated or released, he's still technically a part of the roster. So the eight month injury recovery for CM Punk will most likely give them a lot of time to think things over for CM Punk's AEW future. Does Tony Khan and AEW roll the dice again and let Punk back in nearly a year from now, or will they cut ties with him completely? Same sort of thing for Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Omega just returned a few weeks ago. It was a big return for AEW, and now he's gone for who knows how long. The obvious guess is that the Elite is at least suspended indefinitely, but same thing here. Fans wonder if they'll come back to AEW or if they're done as well. AEW lost a lot of top stars due to this fight. But luckily for them, MJF just came back and the roster depth is still there. So they're hoping to spin this entire situation into something positive with the crowning of another new AEW World Champion. So we'll have to keep our eyes on if they'll make a decision anytime soon on the AEW future of all these stars that were involved in this situation. Sasha Banks and Bayley recently reunited again at a baseball game. Titus O'Neil, Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Bailey were all spotted at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, New York, to watch the Yankees play. It was Naomi's first ever time at a baseball game as well. It was Titus who brought them all out to the game. Fans in the stadium noticed all the WWE superstars that were at the game, and they took pictures with some of the fans that bumped into them as well. Sasha Banks and Bailey even caught a ball from their seats. So, it was nice to see Sasha Banks and Bailey reunited, and Naomi as well. 
As far as the latest with Sasha Banks and Naomi, everyone is still waiting for their WWE returns. It was reported back in the middle of summer that the former women's tag team champions had agreed to return to WWE, but we're all still waiting to see that return. The latest rumor is that their returns may happen sometime in September, so Becky Lynch is also rumored for a September return. So if those rumors are true, that could potentially be three major returns for the women's division. Brock Lesnar's WWE future is sorta up in the air right now. When Vince McMahon announced his sudden retirement from all WWE operations, Brock Lesnar freaked out and reportedly walked out of WWE with no intentions to come back if Vince wasn't gonna be there. This was all going down just a few days before SummerSlam, where Brock was scheduled to compete in the main event against Roman Reigns. So if Brock Lesnar walked out, WWE's main event for SummerSlam would have been shattered at the last second. But Brock's walkout only lasted a few hours, and he was brought back in time for SmackDown that night, and the SummerSlam main event was saved. Triple H recently confirmed this rumor and said that Brock Lesnar did walk out due to Vince's retirement. Vince was the only person that Brock worked directly with, so that retirement left him stunned. But they were able to talk Brock Lesnar back into staying. Then after the SummerSlam match, same thing. No one knew if that was Brock's last match or not. But Brock Lesnar's face is still on the official graphics for Royal Rumble and WrestleMania 39. So that's a good sign that he will be back once again. But who's left for Brock Lesnar to face? WWE permanently closed the chapter between Roman and Brock at SummerSlam, so it doesn't look like they can turn that back into a match again, and Brock has taken out everyone else, so who will it be? Well, Road Dog recently suggested a Brock Lesnar vs Big E storyline and match. Big E was WWE champion in 2021, he's coming off a near career ending injury, so he's going to have all this momentum behind his return. And not to mention that some closure could finally be given for Brock Lesnar versus Kofi Kingston from 2019. Kofi lost to Brock Lesnar in under 10 seconds in that match and never got close to ever getting any revenge on Brock Lesnar for that night. So what if Big E stands up for one of his best friends and decides to take on Brock Lesnar for what he did to Kofi all those years ago? Big E can also be seen as an actual legitimate new threat for Brock Lesnar, and it could lead to a great program between the two of them. Brock has had a few run-ins with the New Day over the years, but he's never had a full story with Big E. So it would be an exciting new direction and opponent for Brock Lesnar, rather than him face another superstar that he's already faced several times in the past. So it may be an interesting future path for WWE to take Brock Lesnar in. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.